Brian's the model now, I see. Okay, well, Leila, congratulations on the win. How does it feel to bag your first victory this week in Montreal? Um, yes, well, thank you everyone for coming and it feels amazing. I'm super happy that I got my first one here in Montreal. Uh, it means the world to me. I thought I played a solid match and uh, I'm glad that the crowd came and enjoyed the match. That was the most important thing for me. And obviously getting the win meant, uh, meant the world. Start with questions in English. Mm -hmm. Have a hand. Mm -hmm. Hi, Leila. Hi. How did you feed off the crowd today? Sorry? <laughs> How did you feed off the crowd today? Yeah. The crowd was amazing. I felt, uh, I felt the, their positivity, their emotions, and I love that they came and supported both of us. They were very respectful to my opponent and, uh, and, to, us, and to, to me. So I think it, uh, sorry, it's nice music going on. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, the crowd's been the crowd's been amazing, and I'm just happy that I was able to play in front of a packed house for the first time here in Montreal. I've heard that they it has a lot of good atmosphere. Every time that I did come and watch the, the <laughs> it was called the Rogers Cup back then. <laughs> Back then it was called the Rogers Cup and I came here with my family and the atmosphere has been amazing and it's always been a dream of mine to play here in front of a packed house and uh, the, the, the crowd's just been tremendous for me. Thank you. Layla, what, what did you learn from your last match against Peyton? Mm -hmm. And now you're going up against the dad, uh, Maya, you've played her twice last year, split the, split the matches. What do you expect tomorrow? Um, yeah, against Peyton, uh, she's a very good player. It's never easy to play against her. Last time I played uh, played against her in Morocco, it wasn't uh, our best match, but she made less mistakes and I unfortunately did a lot. And today I tried to really focus in my own game and just uh, putting one more ball back in, being the one in the offensive side. And I'm glad that I was able to execute the game plan. Um, concerning about my next round match, it's going to be a very hard match. Uh, Bea, she's having a tremendous year so far. Um, she's playing really well with a lot of confidence. I'm just going to talk with my with my coach and see what's the game plan, what we're going to work on, and what we're going to train, and try to execute it as much as possible. Um, hi, Leila. Did today's win come easier than you imagined? If so, what do you think went into getting into the zone? Um, no, today's match was actually harder. Uh, you know, there's a lot of nerves going around. Uh, first round match is always hard, uh, not only because of the nerves, but for me also, I'm playing in front of a home crowd. I want to do well for them. Uh, but I'm happy that I was able to just do my routines, and by doing my routines, it helped me get in the zone and just focus on the ball, and the result came, and I was just happy that I was able to do what I practice and execute the game plan. That being said, what are some of your routines and rituals that make mm -hmm. you confident going into a match? Yeah, um, so before, before my match, I do like to listen some 80s music and then I also like to play a little bit of soccer football to, to keep the body loose um, during the match I like to I think as you've seen before I like to move my feet a lot do some butt kicks get my feet moving that that helps me get rid of the nerves and obviously looking at my box they're always so confident and with that I see when I see their confidence I know that they have the belief in me and I should just also believe in myself. Leila, would you say it was a 2021 match, that period where everything was uh, working well? Do you feel that you're playing very well today? Um, you know, I think in the 2021 time, it was uh, I'm a completely different person. I was a completely different person. Right now, I have the experience. I have, I've gone through some good times, some bad times, and I think now I'm actually better than what I was doing in 2021, and we're just trying to build on that. We're trying to um, keep working hard, keep trusting the process. Mistakes will happen, matches will be lost. The most important thing is if we, if we make the, the necessary corrections, and I'm happy with the team that I have, that they always try to find ways to make me uh, be better, and 
uh, always pushing me to to be the best version of myself. So I think that's a, that's what's the most important thing at the moment for 2023. 2021 is in the past. We try to forget about it and just build on what we have at the moment. Okay. Last question. Hello, thank you for taking the time. Um, playing here at home must be different for your routine. How do you prepare for it playing here? There's a lot of distractions you have to sort of try to get beyond. Um, you know, I think uh, playing at home, there is a lot of people, there's a lot of uh, family and friends who are here, but I do have a great team who's around me, who is helping me manage that. I try to make time for, for them, and but they also understand that I'm doing a job here and they do give me space and I love that from them. I love that they respect my space and they, and they give me time to focus on my tennis. And I think um, also they, they, they also enjoy that, they also know that they are here to watch me play and that they get to spend time with their family members and that's the best thing that can happen to them. So they, so I think we've done a good job of managing the, the I wouldn't say external pressure, but, and neither distraction because family's never distraction. They're more of a motivator for me. So I think they've done a good job in, in keeping me grounded and just knowing that I am doing a job right now. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Who's uh, who's in my team? So I do have my dad, um, my fitness trainer, uh, Tom, and then this week I am uh, getting some help from a very a long time coach that has helped me from the junior days, Francisco. I do have my my two agents, John and Joel. Um, my social media manager, who's also my cousin Destiny, and then I do have family members who are here as supporters. <laughs> Léla, bonjour. bonjour. Um, tu avais déjà eu une victoire au Canada l'an mm-hmm. dernier, mais tu n'en avais pas eu en 2021 ici mm-hmm. chez toi à Montréal. Est-ce que tu attendais ce, ce moment d'une première victoire ici sur le central? Est-ce que tu l'attendais depuis longtemps ce moment? Oui, depuis longtemps, je pense depuis 2018. <rire> 2018, j'ai joué mon premier match de, de Calif, alors... Euh... Malheureusement, je ne me suis pas qualifiée, mais c'était, c'était un rêve de, de moi de gagner un match ici à Montréal en avant d'une foule euh, complète, en avant d'une stade complète. Alors, je suis très contente d'avoir euh, réussi mon objectif et j'espère de gagner un autre match. Oui, mm-hmm. là, ça fait deux tournois de suite là, que tu gagnes un match au premier tour. Considérant ta position au classement mondial, à quel point c'est, justement, c'est important de gagner ces matchs-là pour faire des points? Tu disais tantôt « it means the world to me ». Est-ce que c'est de ça un petit peu dont tu voulais parler? Ouais? Euh, bon, on ne regarde pas le classement. Alors, on veut toujours gagner un match. On veut toujours gagner le tournoi. Alors, pour, pour le classement, on regarde le classement. J'essaie de ne pas regarder le classement pour ne euh, pas me donner plus de pression. Mais pour gagner un premier match ici à Montréal, ça, c'est le monde. Ça, je suis très contente et ça me donne plus de, de motivation de continuer à travailler fort, continuer dans le chemin que je suis en ce moment parce que je sais qu'on est en train de faire du bon travail et euh, on veut, on veut se, se, pré- se bien préparer pour, euh, pour le grand chelem. Léla, est-ce que, est-ce que tu pourrais parler du match un peu? À la fin de première manche, tu étais au service pour la, la manche, tu t'es fait briser. Est-ce que c'était la nervosité? Puis, en général, qu'est-ce que tu as bien aimé de ton match aujourd'hui? Euh, oui, un peu de nervosité à la fin de, du premier manche. Euh, mais, mais Peyton, elle a commencé à mieux jouer. Elle a fait moins d'erreurs. Elle a commencé à frapper plus fort. Alors, Um, pour moi, j'ai juste essayé de prendre ça un point à la fois. Quand j'ai une autre opportunité à 5-3, j'ai essayé juste de concentrer à, à, à la balle et pas vraiment au pointage. Um, puis dans, dans le deuxième set, je suis contente que j'ai pu calmer mes nerfs, uh, spécialement vers la fin, quand on a commencé à mieux jouer. J'ai essayé de juste, comme j'ai dit, prendre ça un point à la fois, um, d'exécuter le, le plan de match et de, d'être, d'être la joueuse qui est plus offensive sur le cours. Est-ce que tu es satisfait de ton service? Tu as réussi cinq as. Je pense que c'est quand même euh, c'est pas dans tes habitudes, je pense. <rire> non, c'est pas dans des habitudes, mais je suis contente de la manière que j'ai servi, que j'ai pu bien servir, servir dans des moments importants. Euh, 
j'ai eu beaucoup de confiance dans mon service, alors ça, ça, ça m'aide beaucoup. J'ai mis beaucoup de premiers services, alors ça, ça m'aide à contrôler le point un peu plus. Um, bien sûr, dans les derniers mois, mes services n'étaient pas un de mes forces, mais on est en train de travailler. C'est un de nos objectifs euh, au court terme d'améliorer le service et je suis contente qu'aujourd'hui, j'ai pu l'exécuter. Bonjour, Léla. Je te ramène sur un euh, détail que tu as dit en anglais. Tu disais que tu avais de la musique 80, dans les années 80 okay. euh, dans ta playlist d'avant-match. Qu'est-ce que tu écoutes et pourquoi les années 80? Je ne m'attendais pas à ça. <rire> euh, bon, euh, la musique 80, honnêtement, je ne sais pas euh, pourquoi j'écoute la musique 80, mais je me rappelle que j'ai commencé à regarder ça, euh, pas regarder, mais écouter ça à cause de mon père. Il m'a montré quelques, quelques chansons. J'ai ai aimé, puis... Euh, c'est la seule type de musique que j'aime bien écouter en avant de match. Ça me donne de la motivation. Euh, ça calme les, les nerfs pour moi. Et la musique que j'écoute, c'est aussi « Don't Stop Believing ». C'est ma chanson préférée. Aussi, euh, un peu de Billy Idol, Bon Jovi, uh, Def Leppard. Um, tout ça sont, sont des légendes, on va dire. <rire> Salut Léla, je sais Bonjour. que tu en, en as parlé en, en anglais, mais je veux avoir tes impressions sur ton, ta prochaine adversaire, le Béatrice. C'est quand même un gros match qui t'attend demain. Oui, c'est un, un gros match. Elle est une très bonne joueuse. Elle a, un, elle a une année incroyable, des bons résultats, elle a beaucoup de confiance. Alors, je vais juste essayer de, de, de prendre ça un point à la fois. Je vais parler avec mon entraîneur, voir c'est quoi le plan de match, qu'est-ce que je dois améliorer, qu'est-ce que je veux, je veux exécuter. Et on va, on va essayer d'exécuter le, le plan de match le plus possible. Last question. Oh. Oh, perfect. Last question. Merci beaucoup. Thank you.